Hi everyone, as you may know, you can use anti-malware policies for protection in Exchange Online. Still, you can use mail flow rules to identify and block messages that contain executable attachments for more protection. This video shows how to use mail flow rules to block messages with executable attachments in Exchange Online. You can set the rules in two ways, from the Exchange Admin Center or from PowerShell. First, I'm going to use the Admin Center. As you can see, I already logged into Microsoft 365 Admin center and from here I'm going to click exchange now I'm logged into exchange admin center and from mail flow I'll select rules now I'm going to create a new rule before I start I'm going to click more options then I'm going to name my rule then under apply this rule if I'm going to create an if statement if any attachment has executable content then I'm going to select do the following so I'm going to create an action here we have a bunch of options but what I'm looking for is block the message under block the message we have three options I can delete the message without notifying anyone I can reject the message with the enhanced status code or I can just reject the message and include an ex explanation so at this point, it's totally up to you or, or, or your company's policy. But in this case, I'm going to select reject the message and include an explanation. I'm going to type Here you can create an exception. For example, if I click accept if, I can basically select the sender, the recipient. So let's say if there's a department, for example, QA department or developer who needs to get an executable. So you can basically create an exception. Don't want to block everything. It's always a good idea to use exception, but I'm not going to use in this case. Then if I scroll down, I can enforce the policy right away, or you can do test with policy tips or test without policy tips. I can also create a starting date or end date, or I can start activate today at 1130, or I can say activate at this time and deactivate at this time or add a comment to this i'm going to uh, select save my rule is created now i'm going to test i wanted to test my rule and i sent a test email to my user and here's what i got and as you can see this is the message that i added to my rule and here also a sender can see why the message been blocked this is a non-delivery report or ndr and here's the view from the sender side now let's create the same rule with powershell for someone who wanted to use powershell I connected to Exchange Online PowerShell and the syntax to create a new rule is new dash transport rule. Now I need to name my rule, so dash name. Now I need to select attachment has executable content dollar sign true now I need to choose the action and I have three options I can reject the message and include an explanation or I can reject the message with enhanced status code or I can delete the message without notifying and here's the syntax I can just select reject message enhanced status code or I can reject message reason text or I can just select delete the message in this example i'm going to delete the message select true to give you more uh, information about reject message enhance status code if you go with that option without the reason text the default text will be delivery not authorized message refused but let's say if you go with the reason text and don't include the enhanced code the default code is 5.7.1 here's i just want to just explain a little bit more about the differences because you have three options in my previous example when i was creating the rule the code was added automatically in powershell it's a little bit different just make sure i covered everything i'm going to press enter to create my rule 
so my rule is created if i want to check and make sure my rule is created i have two ways i can go to exchange admin center and check to see if my rule is there or if you're in powershell and you don't want to go anywhere else you can just use this code here and here's the information here's the name of the rule attachment has executable content and you can see here out of three options that I have, I went with delete message equal true. And as usual, once you're done using a uh, PowerShell, make sure you end the session. The syntax is get the session. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.